Hello, it's Sarah. And today I have some needle books. Um, I was looking at some videos and saw one by Cody. Cody's uh, Crafty Corner, I believe. She had um, a video showing the one she made for um, a swap. And it was with Gladys. And Gladys is, uh, I'm looking all this up because I was a new subby to her. But she does swaps on her um, Facebook page. It's Heart of a Gypsy. So you guys probably all know this. I am new. I, I don't know. There's still a lot of things I haven't done. I think they made these maybe before Christmas. I don't know. Um, anyway, these are the ones that I, I, I made three. The, the last one's loaded up with stuff, and I'm going to show you that last. But these are the first two I made. Um, I'm not totally into fabrics and sewing and stuff. I, I did try quilting for a bit, but um, it was a little bit too exact for me and I got a little frustrated and um, tried other things. But um, the sewing machine still works, so I did sew this one. This one I actually sewed um, the whole, you can see, you can see the stitching on the inside. I sewed the whole front piece together, the, the cover. So it's a piece of like thin cotton fabric and a piece of felt. And then I actually sewed the, um, the lace trim on too, um, which I decided not to do after that. The third one I made, which I'll show you in a minute, I sewed too. But this one I totally constructed with a glue gun. But let me show you this one first. So this one I think turned out really cute. I used, it's all felt. And like I said, just that little piece of cotton fabric. And then you just use your laces and any little trims that you have to kind of embellish it and make places to stick pins and to store any type of little sewing notions that you have. So there's two pockets in this one. There's a pocket in the front and there's a pocket in the back. And then the rest of the pages just have kind of like, I doubled up on the felt in some places so that it would be thicker for you to put pins in it. And um, this one's not like totally embellished, but um, I really like the colors of it and everything. So, but that was my very first attempt. So I was very happy with that. Um, I just glued a cameo to a, a a crocheted flower. So, and I don't have a ton of supplies. Like I just placed an order because I saw an awesome share by my passion for paper. Um, she was showed a needle book that she made that I was very impressed with, and that really made me want to do it. Um, but she also gave. Um, the web pages, the websites for um, Miss Garden Grove and Lavish Laces and Wild Orchid Crafts, those were places that I checked out to get some supplies. So I ordered from two of those places. So um, I happen to have seam binding. I don't have very much, but I I should be getting more. Um, all right. So then this one I totally did with just my hot glue gun. I did the whole thing with my hot glue gun. So I actually, oh, I'll tell you another thing too. I got pinking shears. These suckers are awesome. They're a little bit expensive. They were like $21. Um, but I had a coupon, so that makes me happy. And um, But they really cut nice. They go through the felt and the fabric really nicely. So, But you can tell, like, there's no stitching here. This is just, I pinked the edges with the pinking shears. And then I just used my hot glue gun. So it's very similar construction. I just did it. Um, I think, you know what, I do think I still did stitch down the middle though. I definitely, yes, I see sewing in there. Um, because I think that just made me feel better. Um, a lot of people were saying just to hand stitch it down the middle at least. And so um, I just used the machine and it was fantastic. So um, again, I just did um, this one with like pinks and creams and whites. And I made this flower out of um, lace trim. And it's just, I had very little. I got this lace. Where is that? This. It's on my chair next to me. But this is just, I think I got like, I bought a couple yards of this. It's just a kind of a, a lace fabric. It was a big piece. It's not like a small thing. Um, and I just cut that up into the sizes that I needed. And I also have some black. And I'll show you that. I have brown too. And I haven't used that. But, um. I just used whatever trims and di different little things I had in my stash to embellish these. And I loaded up the last one, so I'll show you that. I just wanted to, s to show you these. But this is all with a hot glue gun, so you can totally do it 
if you don't have and even if you don't have pinking shears so what you don't need to um i think actually the one um lady did just cut her edges kind of freehand and made them kind of um i don't like this trim on it it's a little too stiff and i found out a couple things because now this is my one this is mine and i love it it's super cute i went with color because a lot of people do a monochromatic and that's what I started with. I was like, all right, well, I'll try it because I love the look of monochromatic. I just don't usually do that. And then this is why, because I end up putting tons of colors on. But um, <laughs> I used black lace on this one with white felt underneath. So um, I just thought I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to, I think pink and black is pretty. So these are felt flowers that I had made. And I used the Tim Holtz die to cut these out. And then I just, uh, you hot glue them all together. Um, these are just like little fabric flowers that I had in my stash. Um, and I just threw this together and I think it turned out cool. I have, this is I think from Hobby Lobby. And I got these, uh, this is what I was going to say. These um, make it a little stiff. Like to have the, the more stuff you use with the hot glue gun, the, it makes it a little stiffer. So um, anyway, I'm gonna show you, this is this is loaded up. So this front pocket, I just have some buttons and this is a little button thing that I had of butterflies. And I put, this is fabric, this is that, um, I don't know what I wanna call it, like I wanna say muslin, but it's not, it's just a cotton, cream colored cotton thin fabric. But I backed the lace with that and then I stitched around it and made this pocket because I had run out of my other laces, my thick laces that I made the other pockets with. And then I just put this bling on there. So I love that. And then this is just some trim I had. All this stuff is pretty much for my stash because I just placed my order and because I really yeah. don't have a lot of laces and stuff other than what you can get at Michael's and AC Moore and stuff. Um, and I just stuck little pins here and there. I ran out of these so I have to get a couple more of them. And then these are the um, needles that I like to use when I'm, well, the, some of these were for plastic canvas that I had. And some of these I would use for like paper crafting or anything, but they have pretty big eyes. And I don't even think I have a regular sewing needle in here at the moment, like the with a really little eye. But um, I just, I doubled up on some of the felt to make it like thicker to stick the pins in, you know, and that way. I don't even know what these are for but they were just in my sewing box, so I put them in here. I don't really know what they're for. Um, and I think this is this is a needle threader, so I put that in here. But it's just, I just made three dots of glue so that I knew that there would be like a little place to stick something like that under there, so. And then this is just trim that I added with some bling. And then these, I wanted to see if I could hold stick pins in here, and you can. Um, it does definitely make it more bulky. I had one on the other page, like in the middle, but I wouldn't, I won't keep stick pins in here. They're just too bulky. I think I'm just going to keep pins, safety pins. I'm going to go see what kind of pins they have and see if I need them. <laughs> I don't know if I need them, but, uh, and so that's that page. And then the last page I just put, um, safety pins on there and I had big pins, big safety pins that I was using for brooches. Like I was hanging charms on them, but I couldn't find them. So these are more of those big needles because I couldn't find, I found these today because I was keeping them in here and I had no idea where they are. So now at least I'll know where my pins are. So that's awesome. And what else is in there? So that's it, but I have that. So you could put like buttons, like nice buttons that you have or um, things that you just don't wanna lose and keep it near you. I mean, you could keep this in your sewing box, but um, you know, I'm going to keep this in my craft area so that I have needles if I need them and that I just know where it is. Now these, I'm probably going to save them, um, keep making them and save these for my craft show. I know a lot of people, I think Gladys has some in her Etsy shop, so I probably won't put any in mine. Um, but that's it guys. I'm really happy with um, how they turned out and give it a try. They're really easy. So thanks for watching.